It's the calm before the storm. It's the preparation for the games. Right now, Oswego Cinema 7 is quiet, but come Thursday, you won't be able to walk 100 yards without hearing the name Katniss Everdeen. The preparation in Oswego has already begun, and as Khadijah Malone says, they are expecting a big turnout. The theater behind me is theater two. It's one of our biggest theaters. It holds just about 500 people. I want to say that and maybe a smaller theater. That's what I'm hoping. And that's, that's usually what our premieres do. But what actually draws the large number of people? I would say it's the same yeah. as waiting for the book for a year though. to come out and getting it on the day that it comes out because you just want to see what happens and like read what happens in the movies you literally get to see what happens and see how it plays out with the characters in real life. So I think it's the same kind of draw there. You're just really excited to go and just in anticipation. Even for a small cinema like this, the preparation can really help big movie premieres bring in a lot of revenue. We pretty much take the money from concessions and that's like our commission. We get paid from the concessions. So the more tickets we sell, the more people want to eat because I mean, they're hungry and they're watching a movie. A lot of people, they associate a movie with popcorn or with a drink or a snack. Oswego Cinema preparation will have to be done early because people will start to line up hours before the premiere and then... It's going to be kind of crazy. <laughs> doors open at 7.30 for the 8 p.m. premiere, so if you want to get a seat, may the odds be ever in your favor. Reporting for Bridge Street, Josh K. Oswego Now.